And now I got my bad removed because I was speaking up about all of the things that are going on. Let's face it, why am I screaming? Let's face it, Royal Hike is dead. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my sewer. And today we're gonna be analyzing this Twitter thread or whatever that I saw by Candy Pumpkin. Um, I'm their biggest fan. I just like how genuine they are. And I felt that it was very much needed to talk about the current state of Royal Hike, even if nobody will watch this video because Royal Hike is not trending anymore, it's dying again. Don't you remember those peak eras on Twitter? Like when it went trending for the wake up Barbie thing, or like when it went trending again for I don't remember what but it went trending again that was such a moment so yeah let's see wait wait, wait. before continuing you guys already know where this is going so in the pinned comment description in the video right now you can see my new in real life channel where I'm gonna be trying to post more often and currently I'm working on that little something that I'm so excited for you guys to hear you can also go follow my TikTok and Instagram and yeah thank you let's continue with the video quick reality check to put everything in perspective for those of you still in denial there's a lot of fish in Royal High right now that I have talked about before. And Royal High wants me silent about it, but I'm not gonna be silent. I mean, at least not in this video, probably in the future, but right now not. So yeah, the new school released five months ago. No, it did not. <laughs> it did not. What the heck? It was yesterday. It was literally yesterday. It flew so fast. Oh my god. The new school was announced four years ago. When? Four years? Dang. So that's three and a half years of development. Royal High was released seven years ago. In that time, we have a total of 20 27 out of 442 hairs being black hairs. 4 out of that 120 mask hairs in Royal Hike are black hairs. And 23 out of the 322 fem hairs are black hair. And this is not as relevant, but can we talk about the difference between the mask and fem hairs? 120 and 322. That's insane. In the space of 7 years, we have 14 sets being mask compatible with three of them being fem sets just stretched to work on the male body compared to the 24 fem sets we have not adding up the cherry blossom set of course we also have the cherry blossom set as a heavily culturally inaccurate set that was released three years ago that still hasn't been altered to this day and i have heard a lot of videos saying oh the cherry blossom set will be reworked Adept confirmed it, we are making the Lunar New Year better. No, they did not. They say they were working more on the new school, and here's what we have. The new school was released five months ago, and in that time, three seasons have passed. Glitter Frost, Royal Wind, and now we have Everprint. We were told by the devs that the new school is completely finished. It just needs to be bug tested and released in phases. Yet five months into the new school released, the last phase we had was four months ago. They released so many phases so quick. The seasonal updates we've had have been so minimal. Royal Wind was of course recycled with the helpful addition of Apple Bobbing Limit in an attempt to force players into playing longer. Oh my god, did it work? It worked. The Glitter Frost update was also late had recycled elements and came with a castle heart and some pretty decorations and Everfriend is still going on but isn't look promising in my opinion. Okay, I gotta say this, I hate the castle's heart. I miss the locker courtyard so much. I don't know why they deleted it. We had multiple teasers given to us throughout the new school's development but we've seen barely any of those in the game so far. If the new school was truly finished, why are things still being reworked and replaced five months into the new school release? We had the removal of the locker courtyard and the the addition of the castle heart which confirms that what the devs have been telling us is not the case the new school is not finished and it won't be anytime soon so royal hike doesn't really feel like a game anymore it feels like i don't know like a prettiness showcase right like the realms are as pretty as possible they have flowers and pretty things and teddy Silas going around and the ever friends thing but there's no actual gameplay that i recall so far we have one class and no, it is in English, science, sorcery, P, or anything like that. It's musical chairs. Of course, that's a class. Surely that's a minigame and not an actual class. Role playing is dead, the dorms are overly expensive and not beginner friendly. Shop prices of literally everything have inflated. Less new players are joining than ever before. Royal Hike's player count have dropped. Frustrations in the Royal Hike community are rising. The official account does not communicate. Barbie will not take responsibility and Lons is ableist. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the Lons thing. I, I'm not that informed, like I have no idea. So I'm not gonna speak on that. But yeah, no mention or updates on the math body situation. No mention of the Black History Month or Lunar New Year celebration updates either. This community cannot keep pretending everything is perfectly okay. 
it isn't and will never be if people continue to excuse and dismiss the very obvious issues. I don't understand why people are so reluctant to address and talk about these issues. Don't you realize that doing so is in your best interest too? The only thing we want for the game is to improve and if you censor and ignore people not only are you part of the problem but you are also hindering this game's process and in return making the game less enjoyable for yourself. In fact, I know some of you are content with spending hours a day grinding for 25k hairbrushes and bare minimum jail cell dorms, but how long will that contentment last? Do you still want there to be a real hike next year? Because with the way the game is operating now, the chances are slim. That's very true. So keep in mind that I am not very active in the real hike community, either on Twitter or on YouTube. Like I am friends with other YouTubers, but I do not really Really see many of their videos. Like I see a couple to support them and have a good laugh, but it's not really like I sit there and watch videos. But with that being said, as far as I know, I have not seen any YouTuber talking about this, or at least any crown royalty YouTuber talking about it. And honestly, I absolutely get it because why would you want to risk your badge being removed? Why would you want to risk the thing that you've worked for and means something to you right now? However, if this keeps going, you know, the content has to die. It might die. So yeah, in the past, I got threatened to get my badge removed because I spoke up about another issue about the lawn saying the n-word thing and the badges getting removed and now I got my badge removed because I was speaking up about all of the things that are going on in the game right now and I've said so many times that it is their game so like they can do whatever they want but you also have a community that you are silencing however your community can just take a choice and decide to well I'm not playing this game anymore which is definitely having an impact on your player count right now. And it is sad because people are like emotionally attached in any way to the game. They feel nostalgic about the game. They feel that, I don't know, they felt safe once in the game, probably. But you keep silencing them and everything that they have to say. And that's not all. The community has given you everything to fix the game. Like every solution possible. And people are going to be like, oh my god, well that's a lot of hard work. Like you cannot do it from a day to another. And of course that would be the case if you were a small business or something like that. But be for real, you're a multi-million dollar game. But hey, that's just the theory. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I haven't been watching too much of those videos. But hey, that's the state of the game right now. And my job here is just to bring it out to you guys and just so you guys know but thank you so so much for watching this video and stay safe stay tuned stay authentic and i will see you next time goodbye Mwah.